Islam, the real is back. <laughs> oh, Sanetta. Where you at, dog? We're going to have coffee with the bay today. Huh? Where you at, Sanetta? Oh, polite. Oh, Mr. Noack. Where you at, dog? Where you at? Where y'all at? Little Farah. <laughs> oh, little Farah. Where you at? Seti, huh? Oh, general dude, the general, where you at, huh? Why you ain't, why you ain't fooling with a little fat right now, Ma? What's going on, y'all, man? What's the, what's the deal with the, with the conscious community? Talk to me, y'all. I knew that shit was gonna happen. In case y'all didn't know, I mean, I've had this channel for like eight years, man. And when I first started this channel. I call Sinetta an agent. <laughs> I got a little backlash for it, but you know, I ain't even grow the channel. Cause I'm not I'm not a YouTuber per se. I don't even fuck with social media, to be honest. But I ask. Sinetta, where you at, dog? Conscious community, unconscious community. What happened? What's going on with y'all brothers, huh? See, y'all already knew that was gonna happen. When I when I when I when I noticed the whole debate culture, or sorry, I knew something was up. You don't debate knowledge. Where you do that at? See, I remember the time right before, right prior to that with C. Freeman L. Bobby Hammond, Phil Valentine, you know. Dr. Francis, Chris Welsing, and all these folks they used to have building sessions. Many different brothers and sisters from different schools of thought on one panel and such, sharing information, empowering the people, building up the knowledge base, awakening the people. This is the original conscious community. In comes Oh, sign that of the agent. And he wants to turn this thing into a debate, battle culture. They banging on, not even banging on knowledge, niggas bang on the streets, bloods and crips. They bang on wax, Nas and Jay Z, Pac and Biggie. They bang on knowledge. Now it's Little Farah and or Sadie against whoever the fuck. And really, it was a, it was an op. To discredit Moore's the whole concept of this being our land, our country, and we being the original Aboriginal indigenous peoples of this land. They're trying to put your mind out there. Where? In Egypt, right? Which this is Egypt. That's another story. They want to put you out there somewhere in another in Africa, denationalize you, put you on a different land. Mind in your, in your mind, right? Black power, we're in that. We're from Africa. We're from Kenya, etc. And all the Moors that were kept saying, they kept saying we're from here. We're being discredited. You would do shit like put Sara Sutton Seti against a young Moor. You know, Sara Sutton Seti is an ignorant, super loud mouth, ignorant dude, and he only he only let you speak. But here's my thing: Moorish science. It's not even up to debate. It's one plus one two. There's nothing to debate there. Hence, Moorish science is not up to debate. What happened? What happened to the Egyptian tattoo? You know, whole Kemet dudes. I mean, in case you guys, since we're talking about Egyptian mythology and all, okay. I mean, little Dr. York is well studied, especially in the science of Egypt, right? Oh, little Pharaoh, I tend. I ten nation. <laughs> I ten. Man, this is this really more all this shit is looking like like a ritual. You know what I'm saying? Like a Masonic ritual. These niggas is barebacking. This is a bareback situation where they traumatize, yo. Like Lil Farrah has been barebacked. I can tell that he's been barebacked. He's been barebacked in prison and he's been barebacked in temples, Masonic halls and such. Do I have receipts? No, no, I don't have receipts. I don't have paperwork. That's just my intuition. That's the intuition of a mole. 
these people been bare back, man. The, the way this boy acting all erratic like that. But at the end of the day, who calls himself young? Are you a grown ass man calling yourself young, little, and little baby, and all this baby shit? It's another story, though. Back to the point. Kemet Negroes. Hearts shall be devoured by the by Anubis. Your hearts will be devoured by Anubis. I mean, you go, you guys are into the Kemetic science, the high science of Kemet. Okay, well then let's examine the laws of my eye, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know, you used the sacred sciences of Egypt, you know, to scam and pimp my eyes. Sons and daughters, Osiris's sons and daughters. Please don't come in here with all that noise. I'm making a video. Thank you, Osiris's sons and daughters. So, being as though you guys are comedic masters with tattoos and all, then I'm assuming that you understand and know about. The Judgment Hall of Osiris. Let's examine that real quick for a second. I mean, you use the high sciences of Kemet to pimp my aunts, uh, our sets, daughters, and sons. You pimp and scam our sets, my aunts, Osiris's. Children, descendants, and you know you you gotta face tribulations. Please, no noise. It's loud for your wrongdoings. So we all know about the. Well, in case you don't know, let's 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 go and go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Just don't make all that noise. Um, what was I talking about? My son, my son is distracting me. The halls of my eye. I mean, I'm sorry. The judgment hall of Osiris. So this is where you get your your court system, right? Not the court system, but the trials. Your courts, right? You got the judge, the jury, etc. The script, the scribe. Well, when you die, you gotta face that particular trial, which is called the Judgment Hall of Osiris. We all know that. In which your heart will be weighed against the feather of my eye. See, my eye is the goddess of justice and balance. The original um, image of Lady Justice that you'll see in front of the courthouses, right? The scales of justice. Well, their heart and the feathers will be, will be weighed against, I mean, the heart will be weighed against the feather. Of justice, and if it's determined that the heart weighs more than the feather, Anubis shall devour you and send you into eternal damnation for all your wrongdoings. And so you must recite the forty-three negative confessions of my eye. I have not killed anyone. I have not lusted after another man's wife. Basically, the Ten Commandments. That's where the Ten Commandments come from. Except it's 43 negative confessions that you must confess at this trial. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all talking about the physical trial here on earth in the physical realm, going to jail and and shacking up with with Dr. York. Which he won't even be shacking up with Dr. York because Dr. York is 60 feet under and 135 years. Okay? He wasn't that formidable. He'll be He'll be with a population and they're going to rape his ass. But anyway. So. They have did harm. They have broken every single law of my eye. And they've got to pay for it in the afterlife. And so. You who don't know. Google it. Look it up. YouTube it. The information is there. It's called the Judgment Hall of Osiris. This is where you get the whole 
court system with the judge and the jury. In this case, Osiris is the judge. And Anubis is the, what do you call him? The executioner. <laughs> He's the one that's going to eat your heart and send you into eternal damnation. Islam, Anubis Bey, my moor, my master teacher. Rest in, rest in power, brother Tariq Brown Bay. If you go back to my earlier videos, that's the mode that I was building with. You would never see him on the camera. We would just be building outside the camera. Anyone who knows me and knows me from back then know what I'm talking about. Rest in power, my mom. Rest in power. And I'm sure that the, the Mo is laughing his ass off because we used to have talks about this shit back in the day. About the more the uh, the conscious community. Black, the black woman is God. That was all pimp talk. We already knew that. We knew that. We knew that. And we knew that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, this, that was the that was a that was a pimp talk. That was a way to get the pump on. You know what I mean? Build her up and basically tear her down, you know. 48 laws of power, you know, and we utilize the power, the, the, the art of patience. That's why you see on his on his long ass IG post in which he was explaining nothing. And he said a whole bunch of nothing. And why he said patience. I'm patient. You heard he kept saying I'm patient. Yeah, he's patient. You got to wait it out. Right. So you get with the with the grown, with the older, with the mother, which is older. The daughter at this moment might be, I don't know, 10 years old. So you're going to have patience. In the meantime, you're going to be molding her. While you with the moms, mom going to work, you molding the child. You're going to wait it out. You're going to have patience till the child turns 14. And then you're going to take her to a club to help mend the relationship with the moms and shit. So. The judgment hall of my eye. I mean, the judgment hall of Osiris shall, shall face you. You shall be faced with that, my brother. I apologize. I shouldn't have called you my brother because he ain't my brother. He's just some dude who's a black devil. And a black devil is actually worse than a white devil. The black devil is much more formidable. The black devil is the father of all of civilization. So there's no way that a white a white devil could be more formidable than a black devil. We just witnessed some black devil shit with the house of consciousness. I'm not done. There's going to be more parts to this. But I just wanted to touch on the fact that their hearts shall be devoured <laughs> by Anubis, and they will be sent into eternal damnation. I'm here for the upliftment of fallen humanity and the love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. If I were to, if I were to be, if my heart was to be weighed against the feather, the feather would outweigh my heart. I will be, I will go into eternal heaven. You know what I'm saying? Because my spirit is based on love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. These brothers got a demonic spirit in them. You hear it in the IG talk. You see it in Lil Farrah now. He, I mean, they've been very backed. Masonic rituals is showing hmm, the house of consciousness. I wonder why they spelt it with a K. Hmm? I don't know. The KKK is spelled with a K. I'm just saying. Just checking. Just saying. Just putting shit out there. I mean, Kemet is spelled with a K, so I guess maybe it's for Kemet and shit like that. The whole Negro shit that they got going on over there at the House of Consciousness. All the bullshit. There's two more. There's only two more they never tried, and they were only there a few times. Taz Tariq Bey and Asir to do the tears. Okay? They didn't even try them with no kind of debates. It was all a building session. And this fool, Sayonetta, in many cases, Taj had got him to the point in which he was like, oh yeah, it's black. It is. I said, I understand why you say black is this and, and, and how we should identify with a nationality. Yes, man, I do get it. You know what I'm saying? This is a sign that this mindset after Taj Tariq Bey is done with this fool. Immediately after that, he goes right back to the black power, black, 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 this, black. What the fuck is black? At least just say the original peoples, man. At least just say the original peoples. Part two will come soon. I'm not done. I just wanted to touch on that topic real quick. You feel me? Coffee with the we having coffee with the bay. Islam. Peace and love to you guys out there.